Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can see your time in a heart rate zone for a given activity that you've completed in your Garmin Connect account. Now you can do this on the website or you can do this in the app. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you on the Garmin Connect website. So you're gonna log into Garmin Connect. Now, depending on how you have your dashboard set up, you can get to your activities. You're gonna to need to go to the activity to look at the heart rate zone. Or if you don't have it in your dashboard, on the left-hand side here, you've got a section called activities. You can open that up and you can click on all activities. You've got a column here that shows your beats per minute. That'll kind of show you, you can see on some of my activities, I didn't have the heart rate feature on. Some of them I did. If you want to see your time in heart rate zone, you're going to have to pick an activity that had the actual heart rate feature turned on. So this looks like a good one. I'm going to click on the activity. And then to see your time in zone, all you're going to do is you're going to scroll to the bottom. You'll see here there's a section for heart rate. This isn't what we're looking for. We're actually looking for the bottom. There's a section for time in zones. You can click on that and you can see how much time for the given activity was I in zones. So this one, I didn't get to any zone higher than number two. I spent um, 31 minutes and 37 seconds. 58% of the activity was in heart rate zone one and then 41% of the activity was in heart rate zone two. So look at a different activity or maybe I got a little bit more active. Um, this one looks good. Again, we'll scroll to, the, scroll to the bottom of the activity. We're gonna click on time and zone. And this one's a little bit better. It shows a little bit more information. This one you can see, I barely had any warm up. Started out of 14% of my workout or my activity was in zone two, 71% was in zone three, and then 13% was in zone four. My heart rate never made it to zone five. Anyway, that's a quick look at how you can see your time in heart rate zones in the Garmin Connect website. As always, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.